We are all influenced and inspired by our role models, and this is why equal representation matters for leadership. From a young age, girls tend to be described as hardworking or determined, while boys are talented or brilliant. And this clearly impacts their confidence as they grow up. Between the ages uh, between 8 and 14, girls lose 30% of confidence compared, compared to the boys. They stop associating with their gender with scientists, astronauts, or mathematicians. And yet, there is plenty of evidence that female leaders perform better in crisis situations than their male counterparts, including during the pandemic that we have just experienced. Women were more effective, worked better under pressure, displayed better interpersonal skills such as empathy, making them better equipped to lead people through tough times. Women are powerful agents of change. We know that to be especially true in crisis times. Having women in decision-making bodies also helps to increase trust in our public institutions. Yet, women still face bias. A recent study finds that people think women are less qualified for leadership than their male counterparts based on perceptions of how women think and process issues. People believe that women are more likely to follow their emotions when making decisions, while men are more likely to think logically. Not to forget, we still have a leaky pipeline issue. While more women than men in the EU graduate from university, women lose ground on every step up the career ladder. For every 100 men that uh, get promoted, just 86 women are promoted, and only 24% of all top corporate leadership positions are held by women. And then there is also the likability bias. If women aren't perceived as likable, people will demonstrate less cooperation, less support for female efforts. And to complicate things, women who are liked and considered agreeable are often viewed as less competent. We must raise awareness of these double standards and take measures to actively challenge the way we think and feel about gender roles. The states uh, of women's progress in the workplace and in leadership isn't just a women's issue. It is an issue for all of us. So we can build communities where we can tap into the very best from each of us.